everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another monthly spread. So I'm going to be filling out my May monthly in my Happy Planner and the kit that I'm using is actually a free printable, it's this one here and it was from Pink Pixel Graphics. I'm going to leave the link down in the description box. I've used lots of free printable kits in my planner but I've never used a monthly printable kit before. So I thought I would try this out but it came in two pages. It's really easy to do, you just print it out onto sticker paper and then I've got a cutting machine so I just put it through my cutting machine software and it all cuts it out or you can just cut it out with scissors or with a little knife, that's what I used to do. So this is the kit that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to start with these long pieces that go at the top. Hopefully it's all the right size. I'm guessing it goes right from the edge here. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Yeah. I think that needed to come down a little bit. Oh well, that's fine as it is. I've got quite a lot happening this month. Um, my months tend to kind of fill up as it goes along but I've got quite a lot of things to put in at the beginning of the month so which is nice when you're filming a plan with me to actually have some kind of plans to fill uh, there is a there's this section here which I think would go on where you're blocking it off but in the May calendar there's these two squares up here that aren't in the calendar and then these ones down at the these two at the bottom and this is four three so maybe it goes along here I'm not sure but maybe Ooh. I don't think it does go there you know oh my goodness hmm maybe I'll just put it down here and I will trim off this quote bit. Oh, please don't be one of these plan with me's where nothing goes down right. There we go. Uh, did I bring a knife out? Yes. I've just got my little craft knife and I'm using a little card just as a straight edge. Sorry, I was just trying to find the other piece of paper. So now I've got those down, we will do the... No, we're just going day by day, I think. That's going to be easier for me. So I've got my little stack of poppets and icons that I'm going to be using. So going in day by day. So on the first, I have a Bill Jew. I think she has some Bill Jews on the kit. Yes, she does. So I have a Bill Jew. So Tuesday I have got a bill and then I've got a birthday on the Wednesday which is my dad's birthday. She does have a couple of little birthday cakes or they could be wedding cakes. Um, I'm going to put down a half box or a quarter box and just write down that it's my dad's birthday and I did bring out my little birthday poppet. So I'll put the one down holding the blue envelope and I will write that down in a moment. And then on the 4th is my mum's birthday so I will do the same thing, grab a little half box Ooh. and then put another pop it down, I use the little pink one. I've got quite a lot of birthdays this month I think. Um, and then that's the 4th. On the 7th it is a bank holiday. I don't think there are any... She's got a few words printed out but I don't think any say um, bank holiday do they? They say holiday? No. Okay so we will use a little quarter box. Not that one because it hasn't cut through properly. What day did I say? Seventh. And 
I will mark that with a little happy poppet. Where's my happy poppets? Here. Put that there. And oh, on the fourth, I've got a release coming out in my shop that I've been working on, like a little little project. So I'm going to put that down on a. Do I want a box or should I just put? I don't think I'm going to put a box down because I've already got a box on that day. Well, I'm going out of shop, sorry. Um, but I have got these little girls from Fox and Cactus that are doing like the little dance, little happy dance. So I'm going to use one of them and put that in there. And then on the 7th, well actually I think they go on the 8th, my mum and dad are going off to Italy for the week. So I did bring out my little travel poppets and might do the one with the suitcase. I'm just going to mark that there. And then they come back on the Friday or the Saturday, I think. But I'm going to check with my mum what day their flight is back before I mark it in here. And then on the 12th, I have got to send off a load of poppets because I've been asked to put them into swag bags for like a planner meetup. So I need to post them off on Saturday. So I'm just going to put that down on an appointment label. And I will use a... I'll use another Happy Poppet, I think. Put that there. And then on the... So got, oh, on the 15th, I've got another birthday. It's my cousin Afia's birthday. Oops, put that on the 15th. And my little birthday poppets. And I will use the little poppet holding the pink present. And then on the 21st, it's my other cousin birthday, Charlotte. I told you I've got a lot of birthdays happening this month. So let me put that on the blue quarter box. And for Charlotte, we will use the pop it with the yellow envelope. Then on the 25th, it's the last day of term. That's when my children break up from school. So I've had to mark that down on a half box. And those day off appointments, work goals. Nothing for school, so I would just use another Happy Poppet. There. And then on the 25th as well, I have a payday. Well, that's super handy. <laughs> uh, these are from Rose Coloured Days again. They're just little foiled money icons. So we'll use the little money stack and then I've also got a payday on the 26th I'm sure I have or is it the week before no I think it's the week before on the 19th so I'll use another little money symbol and then on the 26th I've actually got bills due I've got four bills due but I'm just going to put two onto one because it's a bit much to stack four bill dues on top of each other so I'll put two on there and then two on this one. I keep hitting my hair on the camera. I hopefully that my hair hasn't got in the way while I've been filming. Um, so they are for my bill dues. And then my sister, my sister, <laughs> my daughter sits her exams. And for exams, I wasn't sure what to mark them with. So I think I'm just going to either use these from uh, Scribble Prince Crow, which was a $2 Tuesday, or these ones from Strawberry Lime Designs. They're both books. And the, for the first exam, I brought out my poppets here that have got like the shocked, worried face for her first one. So her first one is on the 14th which is here so let me I'm gonna put this onto a little box I think should we do a green box 
No, we'll do a dark pink box. And I'm going to put this in the middle, just because it's the exams are starting. So I'm going to put that there. So for the first one, she has got RS, or Religious Studies. And should we do a green book? Hmm. Should we do? No. Let's do a yellow book. And then on the 15th, she has her biology exam. So I'm going to put that one there. 16th, she has another religious studies exam. Uh, we'll do a green one this time. And then 17th, she's got chemistry. Um, I'm trying to keep with colours that are going to match. I don't want to have two greens next to each other though. Let's do a pink one. And then 18th, she has drama. 19th, obviously she's not at school. 22nd, she has English literature. So, should we do another yellow? We'll do another yellow for the 22nd. And then for the 23rd, she has physics. And then that's it for May. And then she'll sit some more when she goes back after the half term. There we go. So before I put any other bits in, let me just grab the full boxes that comes with the kit and I will just pop some of these in. So I do want to cover up the days that aren't in the calendar like I did with the bit down here. So there's two. I'll put this one in on that day. And then... Uh, shall I do the pattern that's up in the washi? to have it kind of matching yeah so we will do one on the 9th and we will do one on the oh, 13th oh please go down straight blue one which can go on the 29th oh got a green one that can go on the 30th and then I've got three more I've got two pinks and then one quote. So I think I'm going to put another pink one on the 5th. Oh. I've got one quote here that says dreaming after all is a form of planning. I might actually put that up here. Why not? Do I want to put that there? We're just going to leave that there for a moment, but I may move that. I've got, oh, this one's cute. I didn't even see this one. This one's got like a little cactus in the corner. I thought I'd rip that then. <laughs> I'll put this one down on the 27th. And then lastly, I've got another pink one. Or shall I just leave this one off? Uh, I might put it on the 18th. Or not, because that's not going to peel up. So I think we, we will leave this one. I'll put it back on here in case I want to use it in a moment. So for the sidebar... Um, there are two checklists, so a blue one and a pink one, and there are a few different headers. So we will have a, there's 
IG challenges, which is a really good one to have, sales to remember, to watch, to read, projects, next month, important and birthdays. So I'm going to definitely have a projects one. So I like to list what projects I'm doing. And I'll use a pink checklist with that one. I don't know where the camera switched off there, but I'm just using a quarter box with the word goals written on there for my next checklist. Oh, that one turned really crooked. There we go, that's better. Oh, and then I can use this last one down here. I want to use this one. I could use this one on top of here. Yes, we'll do that one there and then this one on top. Yeah. Lovely, so that's that sheet nearly gone. I'm just going to quickly do the date dots. This is where normally I answer everybody's questions, although I didn't have a, a plan with me up last month and I did look at the beginning of the week to see if there was a question for me to answer, which there was. And I was supposed to have a quick look again just to remind myself of the question, um, but I didn't. So I'm just going to go off the top of my head. I think it was a question from Colleen and she asked why my poppets are called poppets or like where the name come from. So the name of poppets comes from what I call my children. I've always called my children poppet. I think my mum and dad called me and my sister Poppet and it's just kind of been one of those family nicknames that everyone gives their children. So that is why Poppets are called Poppets because they're just like mini little mini children. <laughs> and because they're like little mini people and very cute, I just called them Poppets. Um, yeah, and it wasn't until after actually I called them Poppets and I think somebody had asked me why I called them poppets and I'd kind of told them oh well that's what I call my children and they said oh well that's what my mum used to call us when we were little so poppets is actually quite a common name and I didn't realise that until obviously after I'd opened my Etsy shop and started selling my poppets um, I think she also asked how did I build up my um, following on YouTube or my subscribers on YouTube um, I don't really have an answer for that. I have been on YouTube for a little while. I was a beauty blogger before I started doing planning videos. I'd done beauty videos. But the thing with me is that I was a very quiet YouTuber. So I would upload a video and then um, I wouldn't share my video or I wouldn't tell anyone that I had uploaded a video. <laughs> so it's kind of a bit pointless really because if you are wanting people to watch your videos, you kind of need to let people know, hey, I've got a video up on my channel. And it took me a long time to be able to share my videos without cringing. <laughs> Still, even now, I find sometimes that I, not cringe, but I just, I don't know, I worry that somebody's not gonna like my videos or that I'm filming something that nobody is going to want to watch. But you guys are honestly so nice on my channel and I swear I've got the nice subscribers that like in the comments you guys are always really nice and when you message me on Etsy or you message me on Instagram you're always really nice and really supportive so I definitely want to thank you guys you've definitely built up my confidence for me to carry on filming and share my videos a little bit more. So I hope I answered your question okay Colleen. If anybody else has got any questions you would like me to answer next time then leave them down in the comments. And I'm just going to finish these date dots. So let me just grab another half box, or quarter box, sorry. I'll do the green one and put that down here. And then let's do the bunting because I haven't used any of these little stickers yet so I'll just put that on top um have I got anything else that I need to add in there oh yes so I need to put in my uploads so getting post through the door so I'm going to put in my YouTube uploads and I upload every Monday so I put one of these little foiled stickers in 
which are from Rose Coloured Days. I think I did already say this, just in case I haven't. And then I normally film, or I try to, more post, I try to film on a Friday. Oh, so I'm gonna use the little camera icon. Can't, I can't fit one in there, but I'm just gonna put one down here and one here. And then I can't fit one in there, but obviously I know that I film every Friday. And for my bullet journal, I want to upload that. I'm gonna use a little film clapper for this one. My bullet journal, I normally bring out this day. So if I'm releasing one on Monday, maybe it'll go up on the 30th. I'll just put that in there. I think that's everything. Put this one back. I also want to film the June plan with me, so I will do that on Tuesday, or I'll probably swap these over. I'll film my bullet journal on the Tuesday and then film my monthly on the Wednesday, possibly. Right, so I'm just going to fill everything out really quickly. Um, I'm really loving how this looks. I love the colours and how pretty everything is. So I'm going to be using just a normal handwriting pen. This was actually my son's pen. I bought him a pack because he needed some for school. And these are normally like what you see the teachers write with. My ring keeps turning around, it's too big. Um, and I was like, I actually need to nick one Harrison, sorry. So these are really, really nice. They're, like I say, just what the teachers normally write with. And I just really like them. I've been using this the last few weeks in my planner and in my bullet journal, and it works out really, really well. So I'm just gonna quickly fill everything out and I'll be right back. I think my camera cut off then, but sorry about that. I'm just at finishing these last two bits and I forgot to put a couple of other um, exams in. So this I want to film my Bujo and this is for my monthly. So she has some more exams, which I completely forgot about. So on the 24th she has two exams, she has Maths and RS, so let's do a pink and blue, do the pink one down here, and then for the 25th she's got an English one, I'm just going to put that on top there. So she has Maths and RS, Maths. And R S, and then here she has English. Okay, so sorry about the camera cutting out. I don't know where it did. Hopefully, you didn't miss too much. And then I fill these out um, later on when I know what goals I want to set myself and what I'm doing. So I think that that is pretty much it. So that's everything that I needed to fill out for this month. I hope you guys have enjoyed this plan with me. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel. I really love how it turned out. I love the colours and of course I love my foiled stickers. I just like how it shines in the light. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you all have a really lovely week and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.